Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a quick little review for this book that I just read and loved called The Kaiju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. Now, I've heard of John Scalzi a little bit. I've seen his books around like Red Shirts and the Old Man's War series, but this is the first book that I've seen by him where the title just grabbed me by the throat and held me down until I agreed to read the book. I love kaiju giant monsters, anything to do with just huge beasts fucking shit up, I love. So obviously I had to read this book. So this book is a science fiction novel uh, and it's about this average guy named Jamie and at the start of the book he gets fired from his job and is forced to work as a food delivery guy to try and support him and his two roommates because this is at the start of the pandemic so jobs are scarce everyone's kind of freaking out and he's a bit desperate and while he's working this job he runs into this old acquaintance of his who offers him a job at this animal conservation organization that he works for it's very mysterious we don't really get a lot of uh, information up front but jamie's desperate and the job pays well so he agrees and he is whisked away to greenland where he discovers that the animals that they are caring for are kaiju giant monsters the size of mountains and that is kind of where the story takes off from there uh, a little while ago i read legends and lattes by travis baldry i talked about it here on this channel and i talked about one of the reasons why i liked it so much is that it was this high fantasy world but the story was very like personal and just kind of low stakes and that's sort of what's going on with this book the main focus is really just following these characters around in their daily life on this base uh, it's about just like the tasks that they're doing it talks about all the science behind the kaiju and how they work and how this interdimensional rift is kind of keeping the kaiju world away from the normal our world. It shows Jamie and the other people that he meets there going out on missions and stuff. There's this part where they're trying to get these two kaiju that they've named Edward and Bella to mate. So they spray them with pheromones and try to squish them together so it has like a lot of moments of brevity like that and it's just quite pleasant really the book does decide to have a plot in the last third where the stakes are suddenly raised but for the most part it really is just almost sort of like this little slice of life type thing and it's really nice uh one of the downsides of this kind of book is that the characters are really paper thin. Uh, there isn't really any insight into their background or their lives. Like, I think that it could have made the book stronger if we'd at least had a little bit of depth to some of these characters. Like, when Jamie meets up with this guy who gives him this job, he says that he read Jamie's dissertation, which was about science fiction, uh, books and he really enjoyed it and that somehow led him down the path to joining the KPS and I just thought that it could have been interesting if we dived into that a little more like maybe how science fiction stories had influenced all of these characters into the field that they ended up in and how that somehow converged into working with giant monsters. It's it's a lot like the characters in The Martian by Andy Weir. If you've read that book, then you know we don't really get anything about these characters' childhoods or their relationships or what their life was like before the start of the book. They're just what you see is what you get. And they're just thrown into this uh, situation and you're just following them along for the ride. And, you know, I'm not saying that... I wanted some in-depth character study in this book about scientists uh, trying to make kaiju fuck each other, but maybe a little would have been nice, just, just a touch, you know? Especially because this book isn't that plot heavy. I think that if you're someone who's trying to get into science fiction, but some of these 
really big series with books the size of bricks are kind of intimidating to you, that this might be a good entry level sci-fi book to go into. It does delve into the science and the mechanics of how this could all possibly exist, but it's understandable. Like, look at me, I'm a dummy. I know absolutely nothing about science, and yet I was able to follow along and understand everything that they were talking about. So, yeah, good stuff. If that sounds interesting to you, read it, and hopefully you'll enjoy it too. One other thing that I wanted to talk about before we go is that I am now a Readsy affiliate. Readsy is a website trying to bring more attention to indie published titles. Uh, so you can actually join up to become a reviewer, get access to all of these different stories across all different genres, everything there at the click of a search bar. And if you sign up to become a reviewer, I earn a small commission when you post your first review. So it's a great situation all around. You get free indie books and I get money. It's a win-win situation. So click the link in the description below if that sounds interesting to you. And until then, I will see you next time and goodbye.